Miami is sexy, wealthy, glamorous, and full of beautiful models. So you wake up super late, like around one, and you go to a couple castings, hang out at the most fabulous clubs, you get in free, of course, you go into VIP, and you're like rushing champagne to you, and you're just having a good time. I think it's beautiful. Miami is also becoming the new hub of adult entertainment, where aspiring porn stars come from around the country to make it big. So Playboy TV came to South Beach to put the models and the porn stars head to head against each other to find the ultimate superstar. Three porn stars versus three mainstream models in a no holds barred competition to find the star who's got what it really takes to make it in the entertainment industry. Keep going, bro. Keep going. They've all got the looks. Now let's see who's got the drive. So get back up. Come on. I'm serious. The endurance and the star personality. Hey. like to live with a porn star? I've seen titties pop, I've seen cheeks pop, I've seen chins pop, I've seen asses pop. Maybe you'd rather shack up with a yeah, elbow in, in a little closer. No, elbow in. Yeah. We venture into the lives of six beautiful sexually charged women. <laughs> Two thumbs up for that. To find our dynamic beauties, we put out a nationwide casting call for ultra competitive, ultra sexy women willing to bear their bodies and their souls in the sex life act. We have an open-minded show, and we're putting six girls into a house, and we have, we're rolling 24-hour cameras and stuff like that. We just want to see what people's personalities are. I'm the nicest girl I get along with everybody. I have a million friends. If you fuck with me, it's a completely different story. And then what happens if someone? I'm comes? just a crazy. I like have a really bad Irish temper. What if they pee in your cocoa pops? Oh, I might like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very aggressive. Extremely, extremely aggressive. Very dominant in my relationships. Are you bisexual? Yes, I just figured that out. <laughs> you you would take your top off on the beach, yeah, no problem. Yeah. So would you take your top off here? <laughs> no, I didn't. I got a nose job on Tuesday, but um, they said that I could still come and try it out. So here I am. All right. Are you bisexual? Of course. Oh shit, can you tell? Me? I'm sorry. <laughs> <at> first. <laughs> right. Would you kiss your for us? Sure. Yeah. Let's see it. And the nipples. Do you like sex? Uh, never had sex. <laughs> Do I like sex? Of course. Who doesn't like sex? You like anal sex? I <laughs> do, actually. Finger. How big was it? Dildo was dicks, you know, whatever. <laughs> Let's get a time out on this conversation. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> slow it down. When you go in the store in Bulgaria and you want to buy a swimsuit, they sell you only the bottom for the girls. They don't sell, they don't sell tops. Right. So you're okay. Uh, That's where you got all your bottoms. So. Yeah, I definitely Can we see your topless? No. You motherfucking goddamn fucking cocksucker! Get the fuck out of my way! After a nationwide search, we found our teams. Meet Team Model. My name is Kenya Stringer. I'm from Miami, Florida, and I'm a model. I actually wanted to take the opportunity to go into more detail as to, you know, what sex is all about, and I knew I would probably find that answer here. <laughs> I mean, there are porn stars in the house living with us. My name is Estelita Quinteros, and I'm Panamanian. When I turned 20, I moved to Miami to do modeling. It's going well. It's very tough down here. There is a lot of competition. My name is Jacqueline Casillo. I'm a personal trainer, model, and um, and I am from New York and South Florida. For the last three years, I've been doing personal training, and the last five, 
months, the recent months, um, I've been actually trying to pursue the whole modeling and promotional modeling. And now the porn stars. Hi, I'm Brooke Banner and I'm from LA. Um, I'm in the adult film business. I probably work three, four times a week and I wake up six, 5.30 in the morning because LA has horrible traffic and get to work like eight, get off maybe, if I'm lucky, 8 p.m. My name is Brittany Blue. I'm from Wisconsin, and I do porn. Normal boy girl. I don't want any crazy shit. Like nobody forces me to like do anything, and it's all like my decision. And if I want money, I make it. If I don't, then I don't. Wow. Morgan Day from Florida. I've been in the industry for three weeks. Now that we've met the teams, here's what you'll see this season on Sex Live. The lucky girls who made the cut will live in the Miami mansion at the mercy of three unsympathetic producers who don't believe in beauty sleep. Brittany has slept all night in the club on the couch. Get up! Two Miami Beach police officers are coming in here. Straight up. 90 degrees, so you lost the 90 degrees. What are you telling me you can do the 90 degrees? I don't see the 90 degrees. I definitely believed that there was gonna be some outrageous things, but not to the point where, I don't know, it, I was, <laughs> it was good, but not like that. First, to be honest, I really thought that I was like, Dude, I'm gonna fight somebody there, it's gonna be nasty, I'm the only straight girls, maybe the porn stars are gonna be crazy, but then when I got here, everything changed. It was a completely different story. This is not a test, it is now time to get up. Waking us up with the bullhorn. Yeah, like, I, I, I just think that will ring in my mind for a while, so. Yeah, that was really bad. <laughs> you will begin the sex life decathlon. Guys, it will be a series of 10 challenges. Hey! That will push you to your mental and physical limitations and capabilities. This sucks ass, Max. Can we please get into another position? I can't even focus on breathing. Never did I think I was gonna go ahead and put crickets in my mouth and feel like goo coming in between my teeth. And... <laughs> Two Miami Beach police officers are coming in here with drug sniffing dogs. Are you gonna snip it all? Put it right here. Don't even go to prison. So today we came up with a lame brain idea for a challenge of having the girls get in to shoot themselves. Ron will be the hostage. The girl's gotta come save him. Two guys just come out of nowhere going, la, 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 la. What the hell was that about? Yes. Go team Porto! Porto. Yeah, sure, the challenge will have the team leaders directing and shooting sexy. Boy, I'm gonna tear your ass up. Stop, bro! First scene ever in Hagen. Push your pussy out. Just like that. That's how you're gonna do it. My first porn scene. And I don't think I can forget that one. And we go in an ambulance. Excuse me, doctor. Wait a minute. My neck hurts. <laughs> Sit for me. I'm in pain. Just know how to act really good. Scott and I am your mailman. Fabulous. 
So from, from time to time each day, I'll be delivering different letters to you from the producers of the show detailing their next challenge, okay? For now, what I want you to do is go ahead and take a look around the house, see what's what, see what's around, and in 30 minutes, meet outside by the pool for a nice old-fashioned game of truth or dare. you've done with a girl? Uh, in your personal, personal life, life in your personal life. Board. Hello. In your personal life. So bad, I have sex for a living, so it's kind of hard to like, um, the craziest thing. I would say in my personal life, I've had sex, got naked in a club and had sex with a girl in a booth, in a table that we had bottle service at. Is that crazy? That's pretty crazy. What do you think about porn? Like, like, do you think it's a bad thing? No. That girls do it for a living? <laughs> Not at all. I like porn. Hey, if you, if you decide to do porn, that's how you want to make your money. Hey, you got to do what you got to do. Somebody has to do it. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I had no problem with it. Good answer. I don't have a problem with it. Have you actually sat down and thought about getting into porn? Have you really thought about what it's going to do and how oh. your life's going to change? Yeah, I know. You do know? I'm not stupid. But yeah. you don't know. I, I comprehend a lot of shit, and I do understand. And the reason I'm getting into it is I have no clue why. I just am. <laughs> then you didn't think about it. I have thought about it. How it's a long story of how it came up. I kind of like got... Um, a like, guy told you to do it? I kind of like got tricked into it, but not really tricked into it. So So that's already shady. <laughs> right? Was your sex that good to the point where you just know that you would enjoy being a porn star? Yeah. I'm asking for my own fucking porn star. I like sex. What do you want to <laughs> like, You know what I mean? Like, I <laughs> like what would you imagine? Like if you were, watch a porno, a how do you think it works? I no, think I understand that, but what I do you? Think, how do you think it works? Okay. And I'll, then I'll explain how my day works. All right. I think especially the woman porn star, I think that she just feels like she has like a platinum pussy and a no. diamond clip. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> and it just seems like they're fabulous and they they know it. And then when it comes to like getting with a guy, I guess that you know or you don't know, you go. Hopefully over some type of dialogue. Hi, my name is so and so. Hope you enjoy yourself. Oh, like we talked before we yeah, did. Yeah, and then okay, I'll explain. To you how this works. <laughs> well, this is how it works for me. I can only speak for myself. Right. I have an agent, just like you guys have an agent. They represent however many girls. Mm -hmm. They take a percentage of what you make. They book you your work. You have like a list of do's and don'ts. There are many girls that are, um, I would say, like young and naive that just go in and be like, I want to be a porn star. And Don't point at me. Okay, Brittany, I got a dare for you. You said dare. Oh, okay. You said dare and yeah, you never did one. that was a long time ago. Whatever. She's like, <laughs> I just thought about it. Do you still want to do a dare? Uh, I suppose, because I never did one. <laughs> do you want to go, how about you, do you want to get wet? I'm gonna, I I'm already am, you. lady. No, <laughs> um, yeah, I was going to dare you to get into the pool. You have a good body. Beautiful. I'm a little chubby, though. I don't know. Brittany, I think, I think I you just have a lot. And I Wait, just had like, a lot of surgery, yeah, so I haven't been to the gym. So, <laughs> see this flab? Yuck. Wait, yeah. Yeah, you can see the bottom. <laughs> okay. And it's I like just, four or five. It's well, like then I can, like, right I just don't want to get my hair wet. No, know. you can just get it. It's cold. There's steps over just there. Jump. Don't just jump. No, jump. jump. Don't even wait. Yeah, you have to jump. It's not as cold as I would have guessed. But you are this thing. I feel like down fit. Right. You're gonna take a shower? I'm gonna take a hot shower. Well, I'm gonna sit here and air dry. <laughs> Brett, I look like retarded. Look at my eyes. I know. Come here. I, I can't believe you didn't take me as a roommate, I'm so nice. I know, I'm sorry. I thought about it, but then I was like, well, it's just too obvious of a choice. So, is there any soap? I don't know. I'm just kind of... We'll figure it out. Nice. It's warm in here. It's warm in the little bit. Is it hot or is it warm? I don't know. We should get up, or we should go upstairs. Upstairs? We are upstairs? No.
After the truth or dare, um, I made the mistake of making out with Morgan. Um, she was taking a shower and I followed her and like tried to make out with her and she just wasn't really responding. Um, like I would have fucked her, but oh well. So then we went to um, a club. Shot. I don't even know how to it's do it. It's my first legal shot. shot. That's awesome. Okay, fun sexing break. She just kept following me everywhere, like I don't even know. It was so annoying. And like the more she followed me, like the more I drank. I guess I drank a few too many shots and accidentally got really, really drunk. Um, I don't remember a lot. I know Morgan was trying to take care of me. I had to walk into the bathroom and hold her hair back as she was throwing up. We went and sat downstairs so I could kind of like get myself together a little bit. So was it the shot he was gonna give me? <laughs> oh my it god, what did he put in that? <laughs> I just have to drink it. I don't even know what that was. I'm waiting on you. You wanted another one. Let's get you it. wanted another Let's one. Let's get it. Yeah, I'm not depressed, don't worry. No, but you're depressing me. So. <laughs> you're really mean. Start running around naked like you always do. How many is this? Five. Oh, gosh. I have one. Does that cheer you up a little yeah. bit? butt is like sticking out. You should fix that. <laughs> Everyone can see my butt. Uh, you may go to sleep hey, baby, hey, baby! Hey, baby! Let's go with that! You feel like shit? Yeah, I do. What the hey, fuck right. were you thinking? No, I didn't throw up. I almost threw up. I was like sitting there and I was like, I'm gonna throw up. And then that was good. So you got lucky. Yeah, I did. I hate throwing up, but I was really sick. And then I laid around and got better. And then I drank some more, and now I'm feeling really good. <laughs> Cuddle me. Cuddle you. Cuddle me. <laughs> I just want to go night night and be spooned. <laughs> um, sweetheart, I can't spoon you. Why? It's just like you're tall it's enough. It's physically impossible. <laughs> I think you're taller than me, so I'm pretty sure it's not physically. <laughs> we got home from the club and like she followed me into bed and she was trying to like cuddle with me. Like she was like a fly I couldn't get rid of. Fine, you want me to spoon you? Do I really have to fucking move again? Because I'm gonna get mad if I do. Did I say I wanted you to oh. spoon me? <laughs> well, somebody has to get spooned. Because spooning leads to forking and that's what we're doing. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna take a shower with you with a skull. I took a shower. No, like my implants are gonna pop, but I'm still. Your gonna implants take a are gonna pop when I get cold. Yeah. <laughs> Do they? Well, I don't have the bag. The bag. <laughs> it feels, it feels. Can they really? Pop? Like I know they can pop, but. I mean, they could. It depends. If you lift something heavy, like if you lift it heavy weights or something, it's not even gonna pop. <laughs> they could pop. Now I'm gonna be up all night worrying about that. I'm not even tired anymore. My fucking boobies gonna pop. Your shit's gonna pop. You better get up and dance, girl. No. <laughs> I like everybody so far, but like I said, this is only my second day in the house. Now, that little fucking 18 year old, I swear to God, like, I, I don't fucking like her. Cause she just like, she comes around and then she's like, oh, because she said that, I, how do I want to get to porn? It would be, a, I'd much rather see you not defensive than fucking naked. To be perfectly honest. Okay. As, a, as a woman to a woman. Because she said that, they, they, why am I doing here? Because she, and I'm just like, God damn, bitch, just shut the fuck up. 
But I don't normally hang out with people that drink all the time. I don't normally hang out with people that drink drugs. You can't teach you shit. Okay, I'm over you. Fuck, you don't listen. I wish we were on the same team. I'm sorry oh, that we're not. Yeah. <laughs> like, I wish you the best of luck. Yeah, thanks. But, you know, I wish this was our group. It sucks that I'm yeah, stuck with good. fucking Total Knucklehead down. 1 and <laughs> Knucklehead 2. Yeah. They could have been real bitches. Oh, the little 18 year old's a little hard about her. She, she, she could be rude. She, she thinks she is. Oh, Damn it. I can't talk about my own change. team. It sucks that. No more talking upstairs in the bedroom now. <laughs> All the shit that I can say to you, and I'm not gonna say shit to you. So I'm like, fuck, she's on my own team. Why? I totally should have got that from the beginning. Okay, so here's the deal. Uh, Kenya. You've been abusing your phone privileges. Apparently you have an extra phone. And so because of that, now all of you will lose your phone privileges. <gasps> all phone privileges. But you'll get two five minute calls a day, supervised. Dude, to like, talk to are, you, are, are you serious? This is like, like, like scared to tell us. <laughs> You all keep breaking the rules, things are gonna get hard on you. Definitely don't make me go postal, okay? You don't wanna see that. Alright? Understand that. Now, get in your hottest bikinis because we're going to the beach. I'm not going. Oh, I need some black. Yay, I love the beach. Right. Yo, wait, wait a minute. We can't use the phone. Yeah, I'm gonna no, we, can't, we can't use any phone. Two phone calls, five minutes. Wait, we're looking at the back. I'm sorry, but nothing is bad because we're going to the beach. Oh, God. <laughs> Bitch, the beach, the beach, the beach. I'm not going. Yeah. What's the buzz? You know what time is, huh? In 10 minutes. Every 40 minutes. Well, on the second day, when they put the rules of no cell phones, no hot water, no deodorant, no nothing, everybody, we all was mad. It was like, oh my God, because me personally, like, I can't leave without cell phones. So it was like, okay, we had to go somewhere. We had to go somewhere in town. I don't know, somebody had to help us. I was so annoyed by day two that I decided to leave with Jacqueline, who's like my partner in crime. We just wanted to go stroll and get out of the house and just, just you know, away from all of you and just have time for ourselves, just to like be completely, completely just free. So we're sitting at the bus stop and like all these weird people are driving by, but nobody would give us a ride and we're trying to get off of the little island where we were and to get like to the mall or find boys or a bar or fucking something. We just wanted to get out of there. There was no hot water at all. And that lasted for like two, three days. It was horrible, like nippleitis for like hours. We had to pay the consequences for sure. Here we got, can we? Can we? We're going. Ah! Can we go? Oh. Ah! Ah! <laughs> we just waited. Oh, yeah. Somehow you just made South Beach just a little bit more beautiful. Very good with that. But on the negative side, we had a fun day planned for you. Some fun in the sun, some games on the beach. But unfortunately, some of you tried to leave the house. So now... Shit. What? Would you take this, read this to your classmates? Sure. <laughs> you have to get money from me. Wow. You got a panhandle, bitch. <laughs> get naked. Hey, whatever. <laughs> Sex Life Cast. Today is your first teen challenge. For leaving the house, we're going to show you what it's like to be homeless. Your job is to beg for money. You have to panhandle, beg, borrow, or con, whatever you have to do to get the dough. Don't read too loud, you got people The team with the most money at the end of the day wins. So into your pockets, everyone. Start 
penniless. What kind the of mailman has some materials that will help you out. Come on. What? Let's go. Yes, you have to beg for money. Coming up next time on Sex Life. Thank you. Uh, okay. That was worth twenty dollars. Even the sexiest panhandlers in South Beach run into some hurdles. She took this fucking only twenty dollars that she made and went to a goddamn ice cream shop and tried to buy ice cream. Like, is the bitch dumb? Like, we're in a competition. Will the teams fall apart? No, that's not fair because I didn't know that. Money, money, money. And. Estelita's wild sexual fantasy just might come true. One of my sex fantasy was to have sex with a clown. I like clowns. I think they're cute. Don't miss the next episode of Sex Life, right here on Playboy TV. You know, just trying making out orgy, three-way kissing and everything going on. <laughs>